So a friend comes to you, I have just bought a 3DS, what would you recommend? So here are my recommendations for if you ever were to pick up a 3DS and only had $100 to spend, you're going to get some great games. has gone up in price a little bit but I found some great games that you can have a handful and you won't get bored you just got a new 3ds and you're trying to budget make sure you have some games you can play for hours or have replay value and here are my recommendations starting off with I have puzzle dragon and puzzle dragon super mario edition this is two games in one and basically it is kind of like a puzzle platformer where you basically have a bunch of kind of like uh, Bejeweled meets an RPG. It's basically you battle an RPG system, but you use to combine the colors three in a row and you need to get your specific opponent knocked out by getting the color of that person that you have, their power thrown at the other person. So it does have a little bit of challenge. It's not going to be beaten in a five minute, you know, sit one f sit down. You're going to be able to play it for a little bit of time. And it has gone up in price, but it's not too bad. It's $25.45, so you got two games for that. It's about 15 apiece. This game is a fun game. It's uh, Wipeout, Crash, and Create. This game can be played multiple ways. You can either just play the story mode, play it all the way through, or you can create your own challenges. You can build a course and then have it sent to your friends or family or anybody you want to send it to. And they will be able to challenge themselves and see if they can beat your course. And they can send you courses as well. I know the servers are wonky. Sometimes you can't get a hold of somebody. But they do have options to play locally, together, or online. You still have a way to get through. You just got to figure out how to get on a server. And you can do it. But it's still fun. It's still played. And you still have your 3DS. And it's still going. So I recommend try this game, and it's super cheap. It is only $5.97. You can't beat $5 for a game. And hours of fun. Now, two games I want to combine because technically they're kind of the same, but they're a little bit different. And that is, you got, you have Doodle Jump and Cut the Rope. Now, the reason why these are the same is because of the fact that they're kind of like filler games. They're kind of like you only sit down and you play them when you have a little bit of time to waste. And basically there is this game which is Doodle Jump and you jump around and you're basically doing different things, modes, and you tilt the 3DS to keep the 3DS moving so your little guy moves around. This one is also kind of like a puzzle game where you have to cut a rope to get whatever the little creature fed. And the reason why I put these together is because they don't get played a lot, and I recommend them because I've gone through a lot of plane rides and had a, about two hour, three hour plane rides. Fun time. And I burned through the two hour, three hour time of the flight and didn't even realize I was done. And I looked up and I went, oh, we landed? Oh, snap. So this one, the cut the rope, is $11.09. That's not bad. And this one has gone up a little bit, but not too bad still. It is $15 even. So not bad. I recommend these for sure. Now the next game I recommend is one that's on bottom of my list for Resident Evil games, but it's still a good game if you can get the device, the little handheld item to add to your 3DS, and that is Resident Evil Revelations. The reason why I recommend this is because it's got a little bit of challenge. It has something that will get you lost in the story. You follow Jill and you find out what's going on with her in a ship, and you have a little bit of replay value because you can play it again and see what the story could change a little bit. So I do recommend it. Just make sure you get the little clip to add on to the 3DS if you do get this one. But this one's not bad either. This one is $21.78. I have fun with this and I've played it. But again, make sure you get the clip. I didn't know about that. Now the last game that I'm going to recommend is Ultimate NES Remix. The reason I recommend this is because it puts a lot of the classics you know and love, but spin on it. They will change up, like it'll be like a challenge mode for every single level. So you'll get, starting off with like five different games, it could be, you know, like Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., could be something as along the lines of like Legend of Zelda, the NES game, and then you'll get those and you'll battle through and do different challenges. Could be something along the lines of 
collect five coins in Super Mario Bros. Collect uh, five mushrooms, different things like that. And then you have a time limit. Or it could be battle this boss and beat it without getting hurt. And you'll keep going and all of a sudden you'll get another game and another game and another game. And you'll have hours of gameplay. I haven't even beat this game and I'm still going. I have not gone through everything. And there's a remix section that is exclusively the remix section. You have to unlock those. So you have to battle the other sections, the other modes to get the remix mode and be able to finally get all the way through everything. So this one is a lot of value in what I recommend because of the fact that it's only $18.99 and you get hours of fun with this. This is just like Doodle Jump or Cut the Rope, but you just keep unlocking more and more stuff so you won't get burnt out and bored. You can change it up. You can be like, okay, so I'm tired of Donkey Kong. Let me switch it over to Excite Bike. Let me do that. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I'm, I can't beat this part of the Excite Bike. Let me switch it over to Mike Tyson's punch out and then you'll have hours of fun with this. So there you go. There is all the games that I recommend for somebody who has a budget of $100. The grand total is $98.28 for all the 3DS games I recommend. Please definitely check these out. These are worth your time if you got only a hundred bucks to spend. And it's an open tag if you are going through your 3DS collection, you're like, yeah, I have some games I recommend for somebody who just bought a 3DS. Throw it up there. Let me know. And I'll definitely watch it for sure. And if you liked it, give it a like. If you're new, check out a couple more videos. Give me a sub if you like the content. Helps out the channel. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody. Go play some 3DS now. the gamer gal she's here she's playing games linda the gamer gal she's here she's playing